I went from complete beginner to making over six figures profit my first year selling name brand products on Amazon. Most beginners think you need super complicated sourcing strategies and expensive software to find profitable products to sell. But in today's video, I'm going to save you a ton of time and money and show you the new fastest way to find online arbitrage products in 2025. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we're here inside my screen ready to do some online arbitrage. And keep in mind, guys, this does not require buying any products in bulk, buying products from China, cold calling or cold emailing suppliers, anything like that. All we're going to be doing is finding discounted name brand products to sell on Amazon from big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, Target, etc. Big name brands, customers already know, like, and trust that you're searching for on Amazon every day. Now, the way most beginners think makes the most sense to do online arbitrage product research is to just go to random websites and look through their clearance section. What makes a lot more sense, in my opinion, is to find products that are already selling well on Amazon and then go out and see what websites carry those items profitably. Now, a cool thing is what most people don't talk about, but what does make a lot of sense in terms of locating good Amazon listings is just saying, hey, okay, because what knows better about what sells on Amazon than Amazon search algorithm? Pretty much nothing, right? So the way we're going to execute this strategy, it's called leaf sourcing, is literally just looking up reseller-friendly brands on Amazon. So for example, the Cuddle Duds brand is actually an automatic approval, right? So if you're a complete beginner, you can sell it without even providing purchase documentation. So we can see now the search for Cuddle Duds right here, right? And now back in the day, you would have to go ahead and open up each of these listings and see if they make sense. Now, using the brand new SellerAmp extension, SellerAmp QVS, we can actually go ahead and see if there's people making money on this stuff, other third-party sellers, and a good sales rank immediately here. So you want to go ahead and get SellerAmp QVS downloaded just in the Google Chrome store. We can see right here, just look up SellerAmp QuickView Simplified, for example, here you can go ahead and download it. And then it's immediately going to embed on your Amazon search page once you get the Chrome extension downloaded and show right here. Now, SellerAmp costs $20 per month. All you need to do product research, guys, is going to be SellerAmp and Keepa. They're both $20 per month. SellerAmp QVS is actually included in your SellerAmp subscription, so it's not going to be an additional cost. So you might as well go ahead and get that locked and loaded right now. So let's talk about how pretty quickly we can find a couple profitable products fast just saying, hey, Amazon, you know what sells best, right? Just leveraging the search page right here. Now, this isn't going to be a full tutorial on seller and Keepa. You are going to need to know how to use both of those to sell on Amazon. I have a full free course that I'll leave linked down below in the description. You can check out right after this. That's so going to go more into detail on how to use seller and Keepa and a lot more live product research here. But immediately, we're going to scroll past these sponsored ads. For example, right? this is such a simple way to find and uh, winning products, guys. And now we can see, boom, okay. This listing, it's in the Cuddle Duds brand, 1,700 reviews. We know people make money on that. Otherwise, it wouldn't have so many reviews, right? 300 reviews right here. 2,600 reviews right here, right? And we can see there's people making money on this from seller and QVS and the sales rank here as well, right? So now I'm just go ahead, gonna go ahead and open these up here, guys. And then we're gonna say, hey, okay, what websites carry these products, right? We can see these are sponsored ads as, as well. So I'm not gonna look at those here. Right, yeah, sponsored, sponsored. We want more, uh, yeah, cuddle dud stuff that we can see is not sponsored, right? So we'll go ahead and open these up here, right? And now we can see these listings here, right? We can open them up. Here's the main seller amp extension right here, and we can quick take a look here and we can see boom, okay, 88k sales rank. So we know people make money on this now. It does have this suspected IP right here, so you are going to need to take a look at any proc where that shows and see if there's any, you know, big drops on the keeper chart. We can see in this case for this item that is uh, not the case here. However, this keep a chart doesn't really look that good. There's not really any offer count movement on uh, this, so we're not going to worry about this here, right? When we take a look at this one here, right now we can see, okay, aha, so I can see, yeah, people make money on this, right? There's some offer count movement here, but there's also a bunch of other colors and sizes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to the variations tab on Keepa, and I'm going to say, hey, okay, what are the best moving variations on this product, for example, here, right? And now we can take a look at this here, right, and we can see. So we can see the competition is trending up on this a little bit, trending up on this a little bit. So I don't really like that, but I can see this one looks great, right? The off count's nicely trending down right here. It looks like in October, there were like 10 sours. In November, there were like, you know, five to seven sours. And right now it looks like there's a, you know, seven sours right here as well. So we can take a look at this, right? So we're at $37, right? So we can see 38 bucks right here. 
right? And now we're going to be able to see, okay, what's our max cost on Selleramp here, right? So our max cost on Selleramp in order to be profitable is $18.14. That's going to put us right at our 30% ROI here, right? So obviously we want to pay less, right? So we can go ahead and just Google this and say, hey, okay, we found a good Amazon listing that we know people are making money on that has good movement. Now I just want to say, hey, okay, what websites carry this product? So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this Google button right here on Selleramp and we can see, okay, here, it looks like 19 here. Right, so it looks like Macy's got these right here as well. It looks like Cole's got them as as well too. And see 19, um, so we can go ahead and uh, plug in that right here. So we plug in 19. We can see pretty close right here. So we can see that's not bad. Right now, what we also want to do is see if there's any additional discounts I can get right here. So we can see Cole's right here. Right, we can see Cuddle Duds 19. Right now, I definitely want to check Coupon Birds and Capital One Shopping and see if there's any coupon codes we can go ahead and get on this as well. I also want to check Card Bear and see if there's any discounted gift cards here too. Card Bear is a really helpful tool for getting additional discounts on products. We can see, looking up Kohl's right here, looks like, yeah, we can get 10% discounted gift cards here. So we can go ahead and knock you know, 10% off this buy cost here, right? So now I can just go here and take off 10% from this right here. And now we can see this becomes a $17 purchase price with $6.50 profit. Card bear discounted gift cards are super helpful for lowering your buy cost right here. And an additional tip and trick, guys, I can see this product weighs 12 ounces, but it's $38. Items that are really, really light, but above 20 bucks tend to be really nice merchant fulfilled, which is where we ship the product directly to the customer rather than shipping it off in bulk to Amazon. So if I scroll down here on Selleramp, guys, I can go ahead and toggle to FBM right here. And then I need to go ahead and plug in the FBM cost right here. And then you're probably wondering, okay, how do you get the FBM cost? I put together a free guide for you guys on howtofbm.com, or you can just screenshot the, uh, the weights right here that you go ahead and plug in for the FBM cost. Right here, so you can just go ahead and uh, plug that in. So we can see this was about, uh, I believe it was 11 ounces here. Yeah, so we can see 12 ounces, right? So we can see it's going to ship for like 550. Right here, and we can see FBA, it's a 38% ROI. FBM, it's a 47% ROI. And you're going to miss so many listings not going ahead and using those FBM numbers on Selleramp. And that's the name of the game with leaf sourcing, guys. And now you could take a look at these other sizes, for example, too, and see if any of them make sense as one. There might even be other discounts we can use on Kohl's too as well. So we can see like, that's cool, right? And we take a look at this one as, as well. So we can see this one looks like it's like 35 here, right? So we can go ahead and plug this one in as well. We can see 22 key rank, 50 plus bought past month. Let's go ahead and plug this in here and we can see, boom. Okay, it looks like Kohl's here at 17. Right, we can see right there. We can see Belk's a little bit more expensive. JC Penny here too. Yeah, JC Penny typically has really good discounted gift cards. So let's see. We can see here. So this is uh, yeah, right here. We can see it's literally the same person in the picture right there. And then we can go ahead and see all size available. So we're here at eighteen point six two, right? So let's go ahead and plug in eighteen point six two, right? Let's also go ahead and run those FBM numbers because I can see seven ounces right here. Very very light. So if I go ahead and plug in here, we can see, yeah, FBA, 15% ROI here, but FBM, we're here, we can see we're getting close, right? And let's see the discounted gift card situation on uh, JCPenney here, right? Actually, it typically a little bit uh, a little bit higher here, but we can see, yeah, 7%, but you can see average discount is 15% on JCPenney. The cool thing is Card Bear shows the historical discounts. So say you wait for like a 10% one to show, right? And then we take off 10% from this buy cost here and we can see becomes nice right there, but you're going to miss that if you're only doing the FBA numbers. You have to be running the FBM numbers and that's where all the money's waiting, guys, right? So we can see like there's probably other variations that make sense on that too here, right? We can take a look at this here, right? We just want to find good listings, leveraging the Amazon search data. We don't need to open up all of them. We can just see the good ones looking at seller and QBS embedded on the Amazon search here, right? And then we want to go ahead and look for good offer count movement here on the Keepa variations. If it's a brand of listings that have variations, right? Different colors, different size here. We can see it's not the case. And the cool thing is this is an auto on gate brand too, guys. So there's no ungating required, right? Go ahead and list this. Go ahead and list the Stafford item, for example. And that's going to be the name of the game. And then how do you find other brands from here? You use the storefront stalking method and take a look inside the storefronts of other sellers, right? So we can see, boom. He's liking so like 36 bucks, for example, right? We can take a look at these. I can see good offer count movement literally was out of stock. There were no sellers for a while here. That's not necessarily like, you know, a bad thing at all, right? So we can see yeah, 38 right here. We can see, boom, literally no sellers here, right? So we can go ahead and see here. Yeah, it says private label just due to low competition here as, as well. And we can see, boom, yeah, 19 on Kohl's here, right? So we can see, yeah, 19 bucks right there, right? 
color is ivory right there when see boom 19 right here and we want to take off that discounted gift card here as well right so let's take off discounted gift card here boom right and let's go ahead and check the fbm numbers here as well right so now i just want to toggle this over to fbm right then we're going to scroll up here and take a look at the other uh, weight right and we can see five ounces right here so it's probably going to ship for like five bucks right so we can go ahead and see right here that's not bad but fba 42 percent roi fbm 50% ROI, right? And this is the name of the game with leaf sourcing, guys. It's so simple. Just leverage the Amazon search data, right? See, you know, what items are selling well on Amazon, just using Amazon search, right? Go ahead and open up listings and go ahead and say, hey, what websites carry these products? And this is so much easier than going through the, you know, clearance sections of random websites right there as well. So if you guys are looking to find your first profitable product sell on Amazon, once you find reseller friendly brands, just looking inside the storefronts of other sellers, you can go ahead and do leaf sourcing, for example. Other brands this makes a lot of sense for is like, Stafford, 32 degrees, right? Other brands you find looking inside the storefronts, these cuddle duds listings, you can take a look at there, or you can just use storefront stock as well. I would really recommend avoiding manual sourcing when you are near Amazon seller, getting the ball rolling. Hope this video was helpful, guys. If you have any questions about the stuff, please let me know down below. All you need to get rock and roll with stuff, guys, is the Selleramp Chrome extension, the Selleramp QVS extension, which is a separate Chrome extension on the Amazon search that's included with your Selleramp subscription. You just have to download both of them and then the Keepa Chrome extension as well. Make sure you guys go through my entire free course. It's six hours long in the link in the description or just clicking the button right here and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.